Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Anna Marie Weir with Roads to Sea Guided Tours, and today I'm going to show you how to shell a lobster with utensils. You might have seen another video that I put out, uh, how to eat it, you, uh, lobster and shell it with no utensils, just with your bare hands. Today we're going to use utensils, all right? So here we go. So we're going to start off by taking the legs, the claws off the lobster. And the way that you're going to do this is if the articulation goes this way, you're going to pull it back in the opposite direction and it'll come right off. So the articulation goes this way, we're going to pull it right off. All right, we're going to pull it right off. Put those to the side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to remove these legs on the lobster because there's meat everywhere in the lobster. And how you're going to do that is get down towards the base of those little legs. You're going to twist and pull, twist and pull, twist and pull, twist and pull. I'm going to do that a little bit fast. Twist and pull, twist and pull, twist and pull. Okay, and for the time being, I'm just gonna leave my the body of this intact and up leaning so the juice stays inside here for the moment, just so we have a little bit more room on our plate. All right, so once again, I'm just gonna show you quickly how we eat the legs here, because there's meat everywhere in the legs. So every little articulation where there's a bending part, again, bend against it, and you can break it easily and with the little legs you just kind of shimmy the meat out with your teeth you kind of force it out like this and see how the piece comes out intact in one piece and again you break that little joint right there and there's meat in every little joint of the leg mm. every little part of that leg yummy all right that's how we get the legs off and how we get the, the meat of the legs. So we're gonna put those right there for later. Now, with the claws, this is the claws right here and the knuckles here. Again, if the articulation goes this way, all you have to do is go the opposite way to break it in two. Let's do that again. Break it in two like so. Now, if you wanna be a true maritimer, you're gonna do a lobster shot, you're gonna take this claw and as you're sucking the, the juice and taking a lobster shot, you're gonna peel this thumb off. We're gonna call it a thumb. Like so. Mm. And get all the meat out of there. Now this piece here, you're gonna take this white piece off. You're gonna take this utensil. There's meat inside here as well. You're gonna shimmy this utensil down and pull that piece of meat out. Sometimes it'll come out one piece or a couple of pieces. Okay, there's meat everywhere. So we wanna make sure we can get it all. All right, now I wasn't too expert in that maneuver there today. It came out in a couple of pieces. All right, now for the next part, with the claw, you wanna try and get the fat, get the crusher right, or get the cracker right in the fat part, not this way, all right? That's gonna make a mess, you're gonna go this way. And you're gonna try and get one good crack in there, okay? And kind of bend it at the same time. At least if you get it cracked a bit, all right? You might have to crack it a couple of times depending on how tough it is, there we go. And it cracks right in half and then you're going to take your utensil and get it inside here and kind of shimmy the meat out and sometimes again it comes out one piece or it might come out in a few pieces but there you go all right we'll put that meat to the side again i'm going to do this again so you can watch it while i'm uh cracking the other claw open all right and there's all the meat from there lots and lots of meat in there all right so i'm just going to do this quickly with the other one as well so you can see how that's done so again, I'm gonna pull this off, take this piece off, shimmy this down into here to get your meat out. There you go. Make sure you get it all out. There we are. You're gonna take your cracker and the fat part of the claw, give it one good crack, get this in here. And sometimes it might take you two or three goes at it, but it'll come out. And remember, practice makes perfect. There we go, lots of yummy meat right there. Now, here are the knuckles. You can do this one of two ways. The articulation goes here, you can kind of bend in that middle part and go against it to break it in two. My recommendation, if you're not a, uh, an aficionado yet, is to go right in the middle of where that knuckle articulates and just crack it off like so. Then you're gonna use this utensil to get inside here and scrape out all your lobster meat. And there's lots of that here in the knuckles as well. Okay, so here we go. 
meat in the knuckles. You can push it out, poke, prod, pull it out, whatever you got to do. Just make sure you can see through it. You know you've done your job. We're going to scoop this out. There we go. Get the last bit of the out of the knuckle. And there we have it. All right, so we've got the knuckles, the claws, and the little legs that we've done. The next part that we're going to do, put all this delectable meat right over here, is the tail. So this is what we're going to do for the tail. You have to hold the body. You're going to take the other hand where the tail is, twist, pull. Again, I'm going to put the body up and over here for now. We're going to get into that in a few minutes. Now here's the tail. Now usually in the lobster, they're going to crack it down the middle here for you, but you want to make sure it's fully cracked. You're going to take that in your hand and just squish it until you can hear and make sure it's cracked all the way down the middle. Now you can open this tail up two ways. You can either pull from the sides here or turn it around and press on the sides till it opens up like this. I prefer to do it this way. So I'm taking it from these side pieces, just kind of peeling that back, and then I'm going to turn it over and spread the, the body, the cracked body apart, and then get my fingers down there and pull that tail right out. Okay, and then that should come out intact in one piece, and there you have it. A perfectly intact tail that has come out. I'm going to put that meat here. Then, I know that I've got a real lobster eater on my hands when I know I see people going into these fins here. There's meat everywhere. There's meat in these fins right here, so you can squish that meat up with your fingers. Mm. Or you can pull it out afterwards. I'm going to do that later with the legs, just for time's sake. So we've got meat in there. There we go. Now with the tail, what we're going to do, if it's pointing down that round part, you're going to snip this piece right up here, all right, and you're going to pull that back. And underneath that is a vein, not unlike the shrimp, poop shoot, all right? You, people eat it all the time, don't even know they're eating it. It's fine. I know what it is, so it's coming out. So I just clean that vein out, as it were, and there's a perfectly intact tail. Sometimes I like to split the, the tail apart because it is the steak part of the lobster, and it's quite rich, so I like to go at it at... Two, two pieces at the same time. This piece that we pulled off is edible meat as well. That's gonna go right there. Now in the body, there's this green stuff. And that's the liver of the lobster and that's called tamale. And for some people, that's their favorite part of the lobster. So I'm not fussy about it, so I'm not gonna eat it, but many people eat it and just, it's their favorite part. Now we're gonna remove the body cavity, all right? In order to do this, you're gonna pull your two thumbs like this and pull the cavity right out. And then the body's going to go over here unless you want that green stuff. And then there's all sorts of meat in the cavity of this, the rib cage of the body here that people don't know about. So in order to get to that, you're going to clean out all the side flaps that are hanging off the side here. Scrape out all that goo. And if you want to eat it, go ahead. All right. And then these little gill areas here, you're going to pull those back and rip those right off because they're not really edible. And you're going to clean off the sides of that rib cage as best you can by removing those, I call them gills and trying to free up that hard cartilage part. And then you're gonna crack the body like so, and there's all sorts of yummy, yummy white meat inside the rib areas, rib cages of the body. You see all these nice little pieces of big white chunks of meat coming out of the body right there. And people are throwing the bodies away and not going after that meat whatsoever. So there you have it. Lobster 101, how to eat a lobster and crack it with utensils. We'll see you soon. My name's Anna Marie Weir with Roads to Sea Guided Tours.